I'm sorry. Okay, understanding description of a place. Uh, I just, you know, gave you a preamble of this topic yesterday. <coughs> Sometimes, actually, this is a very rare question. You don't get it all the time, right? So sometimes uh, you, you need to label a map or plan. And in that, you may need to follow the directions. Now there are two things. Following the directions, this is, this is one skill that you need to learn. And then second thing is to figure out different landmarks which are available on the plan, okay? If you have, uh, I'm not sure, doctor, if you have uh, seen the videos, yesterday's video or not, in that I covered these points. I just touched upon these points. So I'll, I'll cover these points in detail today. So you should study the map or plan carefully before you listen. Having a clear image um, in your mind will help you understand what you hear. In fact, in these kind of questions, there will be a map. And if there are some options as well, you know, you have to be very careful about these options. You need to read these options once or twice at least. And only then you'll be able to relate things which are here. Okay, and in that, I, I told you, uh, first thing you need to do is you have to read the heading of the map, number one. Number two, you have to find the starting point, And that starting point is generally an entrance. Okay? Then there will be some, some places which will be already marked for you. Okay, names of those, those landmarks will already be given to you then there would be some pictures which will not be labeled, but those, those pictures will be very obvious, like a tree uh, or, or a lake, water, pond or something, okay? Well, I'll, I'll just sum up all these things while uh, after, after showing you a picture. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> now, uh, I hope you guys already know that. These are for, you know, people who don't know anything about about you know very basic things what is this this is escalator what is this this is a water pond and this is a fountain i hope you know that this is a signal we call it a roundabout and this is a small hill right so you already know these things so i'm just moving forward <coughs> i want you guys to spend some time on this picture and then you will be asked some questions about this, which have you have you have to answer without looking at the map. Why I'm asking this thing? I want you guys to start, you know, uh, looking at or reading the map in in a proper proper way. The first thing you have to do is to look at the heading. Second thing, the starting point. Then third thing, the marks which are, or places which are already written for you, like here, information desk, barbecue and then toilets. And then there, there are certain other landmarks which are very clear, like this one is a fountain, okay? And, and uh, this one is a fountain, this is a tree, these are benches, and this, these are swings. So there are some places which are already marked for you, and there are some places which are very clear and very obvious, uh, you know, pictorially it is very clear. So now uh, you have 30 seconds to look at this map. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, done. I hope you are done. Let me move to the next exercise. What is uh, this map of uh, Shaquille? What is this? What is this a map of? Can you tell me? Sir? Yeah. What is it a map of? Sir, you don't understand me, question, sir. Yeah, now you have to tell me the map is of something. Is it a map of library or it is a map of city or what? Uh, it is a map of uh, city, sir. It is a map of a market, actually. You didn't read the heading then. Name three landmarks on the map. Doctor. 
electric fountain mm -hmm. elevator no no sorry that was in the previous slide there was a tree in the center with two benches right and there were some swings i will show you what is the end where is the entrance amjad it's uh, beside the information slash reception yeah yeah bottom. you can bottom yeah hey. lower bottom corner right uh, sorry lower left corner or bottom left corner right and what is sorry and what is in the center of the map tree yeah sir path mein sorry no there, there there's a tree okay yes sir. now if you see the first thing you need to do is read the heading shakil okay sir okay sir sure market so that means this is a map of market, market. Yes, and sir. then they ask you name three landmarks so there was one tree in the center fountain and swings or a play area right right sir then entrance amjad was correct and then a tree doctor was correct so now let's move forward that exercise what is was very simple i'll come back to that exercise later now there are four different maps in front of you and you will listen to uh, you know a recording of about about each of these maps okay and then uh, i want you guys to uh, answer the questions 1 to 4 for example the first question asks you where is the gift shop so obviously you have to listen to the recording that i'll play and tell me uh, where is the gift shop is it a is it b or is it c then next question asks you where can you buy stamps so is it a c or b again then third the question is what is the proposed location of the new bridge is it a b or c and then where is the ideal uh, habitat for the this kind of frog right again a b and c i'm giving you 30 second again to look at this 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 maps and then i'll play the recording are you ready okay i guess you yes, guys sir. are sleeping right uh, you you have 30 seconds now i'll shake you up very soon don't worry Okay guys I'm going to play it now <clears throat> If you remember I told you yesterday that try using your pencil to figure you know um, uh, to to draw whatever is being told to you like you can say okay this is enters if you go right left wherever uh, the recording tells you to go you just keep moving your pencil it will ultimately you know take you to to the point uh where this question uh is being you know referring to okay now i'm playing the recording recording 16 1 excuse me can you tell me where the gift shop is yes you need to go into the shopping center the entrance is over there on your left yes i see it well you go in there then go straight ahead The shop you want is opposite the toilets next to the lifts. Thanks very much. 2. Welcome to the resort. I'll just tell you about some of our facilities. We've got a lovely little pond where guests are welcome to sit and have a picnic. You'll see it as you come in the entrance. In the middle of the resort, you'll see a circular courtyard. It has some lovely cool places to sit as well. You can see our famous fig tree from there. It's enormous. To the right of the courtyard, you'll find a small shop where you can pick up things like postcards and stamps. It's just behind the tree. 3. Hello, Professor Jones. Would you be able to help me with my assignment? 
Of course. Are you having problems with choosing a good location for the new bridge? Yes. I was thinking of putting it right in the middle, as the river is at its narrowest there. Well, that would save costs. Exactly. But I realised that it would create costs in other areas, as it would mean some important buildings being knocked down. So I think it would be better if it's at the eastern end of the motorway. That's a good idea. It would be a lot more useful than if it was at the western end. 4. The Traveston frog is different to many other species of frog. It is very small and so, unlike other species, it is unable to live in the area of a pond, though it does need to live in fairly close proximity to water so that it can feed. Rather than choosing the safety of a tree, which would be too tall and may actually increase the threat from predators, it elects to live in a tiny burrow surrounded by bushes. OK. <coughs> Sorry. Now let me mute myself for a while. Sorry, guys. <coughs> I have some problem. Doctor is there, but, you know, I'm not getting hardly. So anyways, let's, uh, can you tell me your answers, Shaquille, starting with you? Uh, sir, one A, sir. Okay. And Second. Two, two again A, sir. Uh-huh. Third. And third C, sir. Mm-hmm. And in fourth, I'm confusing, sir. Okay, fine. So any random guess? B, sir. Okay, what about doctor? Yes, sir. Your answers? Okay, so A, uh, mm -hmm. so question number one for A, A mm -hmm. for like lift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, actually, look, 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 you are missing something. Uh, okay, uh, first, first, you have to tell that whether you, you, you have to find gift shops, right? You have to find gift shop. And in that, there are some locations which are already marked for you. Entrance is already marked for you. Then toilets here, this is already marked for you. Then left, this is already marked for you. So remaining three points, A, B, or C. Gift shop is one of these, A, B, or C. You getting it? Yes, sir. So when you say that my answer is A, it means this is gift shop. So now the next question asks you, where can you buy stamps? Now you have to find stamps from where you can buy either A or from C or from B. You are telling me that from entrance, no, no this is not a choice for you. Okay. For question two, you would write A, B or C. Okay, okay but, but, the, but this has told me that uh, your answer is wrong, right? So okay. now whatever you will say, it will be just a guess, right? So now next for number three. Doctor number three. Yes, sir. You are thinking recording is already off. Remember in listening test, you can't think a lot. You know, if you have missed the recording, you just can't understand afterwards. Right? Yes, sir. Actually, during recording, uh, I was doing some work. Sorry. Oh, okay, no, I can understand that. Right. Okay, uh, Doctor Amjit, now, <laughs> uh, you you will be a PhD doctor very soon, Amjit. Now, you don't want to. <laughs> if you don't want to. Okay. Uh, my answer is A, B, C, and A. A, B, C, and A. Well done, Amjit. All correct. Right. For others, uh, let me just give you, uh, you know extract or, or, or overall meaning of the conversation and then I'll play the recording again for you guys in first question uh, th there's a lady who is asking from from someone 
that way i was the gift shop and that person tells that you know you can see the entrance on your left you just go straight and then it's opposite to the toilets and adjacent to or next to left so this is the gift shop then for in in second uh, you know they they uh, there is a lady i guess again and she is telling about uh, the different uh, features of of a resort or a picnic resort or a kind of a resort in which uh, you know uh, there are certain features that the lady is describing so she says that well just on the entrance there is a pond and uh, you know that that is a picnic area you can come here and you can enjoy uh, you know uh, with your families and blah blah then she talks about in the center of this there's a big tree and you know there's again a picnic area you can sit here and blah and then she says that uh, uh, for first times you know there's a shop here on the towards the right side of the entrance and then she tells behind the trees so on the right side of the entrance behind the tree b is located here okay here you can find different you can buy different things like stamps and certain other items then in third question uh, there's a student who wants to discuss her assignment with with her uh, teacher or tutor whoever he is and she you know she is facing some problem that where she should suggest uh, uh, to construct a bridge on this motorway you see there's some river passing from this place you know beneath the uh, this motorway so she's confused that where should she place a bridge here she initially thought that well river is very narrow here the width of the river is very narrow here so this will be a shortest possible bridge uh, you know which will save the cost but then uh, you know uh, the intuitor also said yes that's a great idea but then that girl says that well later on i realized that there is a lot of buildings there's a lot of population here and lot many buildings here so although the bridge will be shorter in length but it will create cost or increase cost in other area like here you will have to uh, notch down certain buildings okay so then she says that well then then it means c is a better place and in that she says that towards the eastern end of the motorway so eastern end is c then that professor says yeah i guess this would be much better than if it would have been on the western end and a is on the western so correct option is c similarly for frog she tells uh, or that person the so speaker says that well this is a special kind of frog who doesn't you know live in the water actually but it needs to live near to the water in the vicinity of the water that means b is not the right answer so now in the vicinity either it's a or it's c then it says that well it it will not live under a tree although tree will you know uh provide a shade or something but the frog will not be protected from the predators you know any 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 other animal can look at uh, or spot this frog so it is not safe for it so it will prefer to live in the bush or in the bushes right or around the bushes so this is the total discussion now i'll play the recording again and i would request you guys to focus on it right good luck recording 16 sorry One. Excuse me. Can you tell me where the gift shop is? Yes, you need to go into the shopping center. The entrance is over there on your left. Yes, I see it. Well, you go in there, then go straight ahead. The shop you want is opposite the toilets, next to the lifts. Thanks very much. 2. Welcome to the resort. I'll just tell you about some of our facilities. We've got a lovely little pond where guests are welcome to sit and have a picnic. You'll see it as you come in the entrance. In the middle of the resort, you'll see a circular courtyard. It has some lovely cool places to sit as well. You can see our famous fig tree from there. It's enormous. To the right of the courtyard, you'll find a small shop 
where you can pick up things like postcards and stamps. It's just behind the tree. 3. Hello, Professor Jones. Would you be able to help me with my assignment? Of course. Are you having problems with choosing a good location for the new bridge? Yes. I was thinking of putting it right in the middle, as the river is at its narrowest there. Well, that would save costs. Exactly. But I realised that it would create costs in other areas, as it would mean some important buildings being knocked down. So I think it would be better if it's at the eastern end of the motorway. That's a good idea. It would be a lot more useful than if it was at the western end. 4. The Traveston frog is different to many other species of frog. It is very small and so, unlike other species, it is unable to live in the area of a pond, though it does need to live in fairly close proximity to water so that it can feed. Rather than choosing the safety of a tree, which would be too tall and may actually increase the threat from predators, it elects to live in a tiny burrow surrounded by bushes. Clear? I hope this is clear. Yes, sir. I have a question. And that question is not written here. And I want everyone of, of you to, you know, use your kidneys to answer this question. And my question is, in the first, in the first recording, what do you think the lady who asked about the location of gift shop, in which direction she is facing? In which direction she is looking at? You have to tell me using this concept, north, south, east or west. So she is looking towards north, she is looking towards south, she is looking towards east or she is looking towards west. So let me draw it here. This is again, same thing in this condition, right? If you want to, this is a, uh, you know, this is really a good question. And I hope this will help you to clarify your directions thing, right? So what do you think? Can anyone tell me? Okay, Amjad, uh, yeah, please go ahead. She's actually looking uh, the north side because the sentence uh, uh, which was described that uh, uh, on the left hand of your uh, it, on the left hand is the entrance, uh, the shopping mall. On the left left hand is the entrance. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. And what about you? Okay. I'm playing this first part only. And please, okay. uh, everyone, I want an answer from you guys, right? Please try to figure out this this only this single question will help you to uh, you know uh, address your uh, problems in 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 finding finding out or figuring out the directions right recording 16 1 excuse me can you tell me where the gift shop is yes you need to go into the shopping center the entrance is over there on your left Yes, I see it. Well, you go in there, then go straight ahead. Okay, that is good enough to uh, tell Okay, me. east. Uh-huh. What about you, Shaquille? Yes, sir. And Amjad, do you want to review north or you are still adamant that it is north? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's uh, quite east now. <laughs> it's east now, right? So try to, you know, just imagine what is happening. There are two people. One is the lady. I'm sorry, this is a lady. And this is a boy or person who is answering. So she asks, okay, where well, I have to go? And he tells that, well, it is, if you see, entrance is on your left side. So, you know, she is looking here and entrance is on her left side, right? So anyways, uh, just try to figure out these things. This will help you to improve your understanding of the directions. So now uh, this is the same, you know, uh, same question. It is just explained and I have already explained it. Now following the directions, you may need to follow directions to locate a place on the map and you have seen it. Marking the way directly on the map using your pencil can be very helpful, okay? So the distractors for this type of task might be extra buildings marked on the map 
or there might be extra options in the list of possible answers. So you you might be distracted by let's say there's some other thing written here. There, there, there's an extra landmark. Let's say they, they just draw a hill here and they write it hill. Okay, they just write it. So now this hill is not used in any of the options. So this can be a destructor. This is one thing. Or oh, second thing, that if you are given a list of options, in that uh, they are asking you four questions and they can give you six options. So obviously two options are extra. So these extra options are destructors. And uh, we have talked about destructors too much. Uh, doctor, if you have missed it, please uh, watch those videos today uh, if you get time, okay? Now, listen and decide which diagram, either A, B, or C, shows the direction described by the speaker. So that means, Speaker is describe, <coughs> sorry, describing some directions. Or speaker is describing a diagram, okay? And by listening to that speaker or that audio recording, you will tell me that he or she is talking about A or B or C. So before I play recording, I want you guys to please have a look on these three pictures. Okay, sir. Okay, shall I play? I guess I shall play. You'll never say yes, sir. Recording 17. Can you tell me how to get to the supermarket? Sure. Let me have a think. We're in Bridge Street now, and it's in Queen's Road. Oh, the only street I know is Riverside Street. I know my hotel's on the corner there. That's right. You need to go up Bridge Street as far as the traffic lights, then turn right. That's Riverside Street. I see. Then you walk along there to the next set of traffic lights and you'll be at Queen's Road. You turn left there and it's the second shop on your left. Thanks very much. Okay, thanks very much everyone. So, no, what's the answer? Uh -huh, wow. What about you, Shaquille and Amjad? There's B. B? <laughs> Shaquille, yes, you sir. also agree with? Okay, good. Yes, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I just used the word agree with. I don't know if I have explained agreed with, agreed to. Have you discussed it during writing? Agreed with? Uh oh, sorry. I guess not. Not, because you were not there in the writing classes. <laughs> okay. No, sir. <laughs> agreed with, agreed to, and. Uh, I agree with, I agree to, and what What else? Agree on, agree on, right? These three things. There's a difference in, in such, before I tell you the difference, some people, they use a word, well, I am agree, I am agree. Never ever say that. If you have to say, I am, then always say, I'm agreed with it, or I'm agreed to it, or I'm agreed on it, right? That I'll tell you when to use with, when to use to, and when to use on. But if you use am with it, or he is agreed, okay? Whenever you use is, am, are, always use third form of the agree. Actually, this is a passive, passive-wise sentence. And now Shaquille knows that in a passive-wise sentence, you always use third form. Okay, so I'm, I'm agreed, he's agreed. And similarly, if you don't want to say I am, then just say I agree. Either you use I agree or you use I am agreed. Don't say, don't say I am agree. Clear? This is one thing. Second thing uh, I want to tell you, agreed with. This is generally with an idea, with an opinion, with a person. 
okay with an idea like i agree with uh shakil i agree with amjad or i agree with his opinion i agree with his suggestion or i agree with his whatever he is doing right so now in that i agree with whenever we agree with a person an idea or something for agree to there have to be a request to which someone may agree for example if i say that well i have requested my boss now this is a request i have requested my boss to give us a half day or to give a bonus on this eid or this new year uh, to to those clients who have really performed well and to my surprise he agreed to it you getting it whenever yes, there is a request uh, that is uh, that has been made to some higher authority in return if that authority agrees then it means that authority is agreeing to this request or to this proposal clear okay then last thing is agreed on or agree on this is used to show an agreement on a thing uh, you know where it is possible that you know the group who is agreed on uh, may have a dispute in the beginning for example if i say uh, well when i floated the idea to go to uh, naran or kahan or go to uh, malaysia uh, for summer trip initially some of our friends didn't agree some said that we need to go to or we must go to uae other said no we must go to maybe uh, uk and blah blah and then and so on so initial we had initially we had a disagreement but later everyone agreed on it now this agreed on is suggesting or telling that well everybody now is on the same page is that clear yes sir okay so now uh, for this okay, let me let me uh, you guys told me that answer is b right now here as i told you that in the in uh, for all such kind of questions the first thing you need to focus is after reading the title of the map now in this case there is no title obviously the second thing you need to do is try to figure out the starting point generally it is entrance generally it is entrance but in this particular case there was no entrance mentioned at least but we could make it make a guess that well this point is starting and it is leading us to some place and this is the place here this is a starting point maybe then we will wait for the audio as soon as audio audio will be played then we'll be able to decide that well if this is the starting point or not but looking at by looking at the picture we may make a guess that yes this might be a starting point so the lady the she asks about some place some shop or some store uh, and the other person tells well we are right now on the bridge street and it's on the queens road that lady says well i'm sorry i'm not uh, you know uh, a local i only uh, you know uh, place i know or only road i know is the riverside road my hotel is on the on its corner so then he explains well right now we are in the bridge street so if you move along you move forward uh, till until until the next traffic lights and then turn right it will be the riverside road then keep moving until you reach the next you know traffic light signals then it means it's the queen road here it is on the left next to the bank clear i've explained it uh, in detail and why i explain it because i want you guys to try to understand during practice sessions try to understand each and every word okay this will improve your uh, listening ability now listen again and make a note of any words or phrases that are used so now i'm not, not using this thing i want you guys to just answer me uh, okay we'll we'll see 
let's, let me let me see if if, if right now if i ask you if i label if i label this as a this as b and this place as c and then i ask you a question where that store is let's say whatever she is asking she is asking store or then it's in b clear any query now do you want uh, me to play it again no okay fine now labeling a map sometimes a map completion task asks you to identify an area on the map i've already you know given you the preamble for this don't cross out any option okay for this kind of questions like uh, 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 no. now this kind of question <clears throat> you see you are given six options farm animals fresh bread ticket booth picnic area second hand book stall and cookery shows i have read these options for you intentionally you know if you are given 30 seconds to look at these question then what you would do in this particular case i would strongly suggest you to look at after looking at the heading so that you you have some idea okay we are talking about a market okay in that you need to see okay there are some farm animals fresh bread ticket booth picnic area second hand book stall and cookery shows so you need to read these options twice why we know that the record once recording will be played we can very easily figure out this is entrance and this is information as well so i have to figure out what this question number 1 is so after that as soon as we find the answer let's say she discusses it like cookery shows second hand book and picnic area and one of these is correct so you you have to you know while listening you have to immediately see is it f or e or d otherwise you may not be able to figure out that what place this is if you don't know which option is there an alternate way is that if you you are you know facing some trouble in in finding or looking at the options while listening a better way is just write what it is just write it and later on you can match it well it is cookery shows or picnic area or whatever whatever you have written here if you have written picnic area then you will go okay the answer is d okay because it it is really a problematic thing that you have to listen to the recording you have to look at the map at the same time you have to look into these options that which option you have to pick so you can just write it here i will play this recording after 1 minute or 30 seconds this call call will be dropped and uh, you know meanwhile you can uh, look at this this or map and